Okay, you know how this story starts. In the beginning, there wasn't shit. Literally, nothing but void and darkness. And that's how the darkness liked it. It wasn't until God decreed, turn on the lights, that things got nasty. It started out small. A, a, a planet here, a, a sun there, you, you know, next thing you know, there were humans and cows and, and, and then stuff running all over the place. Needless to say, the darkness was pissed. From then till now, the darkness tore its way through the world, inhabiting one human host after another, each thinking that they were its master. But you can't own the darkness. The darkness owns you. Fast forward to one Jackie Estacado. You know his type. No family, no hope, no future. He ended up about what you'd expect, busting heads for the French Hetty crime family. Life as a whole was pretty dark for Jackie. Then came his 21st birthday, and, and things got a whole lot darker. And then you, you, you might think that inheriting superpowers would, would be pretty cool for Jackie, you, you know, being in the business of killing people and all. But, and if not for the demon living inside of him, you'd be right. See, the darkness it didn't just make Jackie stronger, it, it, it made him a god. But only when the lights were out. Next thing you know, the mob turns on Jackie, marks him for death, just like that. It was the New York City mob versus Jackie and the darkness. But as dark as things were for Jackie, there was a light in his life. And, and, and her name was Jenny. Now, now, now these kids, they, they went way back. I don't think anybody would disagree that they were meant for each other. If anything, that's the real tragedy in all this. See, the mob was still after Jackie. Now, they thought the quickest way to get him would be to take away, you know, his, his only reason for living. Killing Jenny was just about the dumbest thing the mob could have done. See, because without her, Jackie not only had nothing left to live for, he had nothing left to lose. As for the darkness, Jackie's kept it locked away for years, you know, but it doesn't matter how hard he tries. No one can hold back the night. If he can't control this thing inside him, pretty soon there won't be anything left. Jackie will be nothing but an empty shell. And that's just how the darkness likes it. Right around the time he died, my father said to me, he said, Jackie, you can't outrun your fate, but you sure as hell gotta try. I didn't really know what he meant back then. See, there was something inside me. Something terrible, waiting to get out. And when it did, it made me watch the only thing I ever cared about. Get her brains blown out right in front of me. Then it gave me the power to make things right. The kind of stuff you only see in your worst nightmares. The killing only made it stronger. Harder to control. Eventually, I found a way to bury it. But ever since, it's been trying to get back out. It calls itself... The Darkness.